Alright boys, welcome back to another video. Here today we got a pretty cool topic and something that I actually learned after dropping my video yesterday, right? I talked about a lot of things in that video and if you did go check it out, practically I'll sum it up and just explain everything. A lot to talk about here, so I hope you guys are hyped for this. The goal is the castle. Get to the castle. Who wants to go first? <laughs> If you're new to the channel, subscribe up, and if you haven't already left a like, consider doing so. <laughs> now, real quick, I just want to gauge the community, and I want to see something really quickly in the comments, okay? First off, what are your thoughts in the game, and what are your thoughts on what I'm about to say to you? Would you like to see this? Is it something normal for you, and just, are you hyped if this is what happens to the game? Because this looks like what the devs have been planning since day one, or what they've been planning just based off how uh, it's been received over here, how we've seen everything. And I think this is exactly what they want to do. So first of all, again, let's jump straight into it. Let's talk about everything. Let's get some gameplay on screen and have fun with whatever I show you. So first off, the title, I might say this is what the devs are planning, right? Since day one of the game, we've seen a lot of things, okay? On global, many gacha games get the entire thing of a rushed banner, right? They always rush things. They always uh, speed things up from other versions. And there was no different when it came to global, right? Every two to three weeks, we practically got a banner, right? First, we started off with All Might. We then went into Endeavor. We then went into Aizawa. And then we went straight into Stain, right into Shigaraki. And there you go. The saddest thing about that is, in that much time, we were able to clean up, clear out of the way, and go all the way to what the Taiwan version's at, right? That is where we are at this point. We got Shigaraki. It's officially caught up. The global version is now right there where the CN version is. Now, again, I want you to hear this really quickly, and this is probably what the devs are planning. Again, we do know that the CN version hasn't had a content update in so long, right? It looks like they just had the battle pass, and that was to tie players over, and that really was it. Now, it looks like the entire plan from the CN version was to have the global version caught up. So, again, when, you, when it comes to a gacha game, when it comes to a game like this, what happens is... They hate it when the other version is ahead. Yes, a lot of gacha games might have that entire thing where the other version is way ahead, but in a lot of the uh, the newer ones, it's been changing, right? If you look at Grand Cross, recently, it's a big change in how that game has been operating, given, yeah, they've already uh, did the entire dash on Global. They almost caught up to what the JP version said. I think there are only two banners behind what the JP version is, which is what they wanted, right? Again, why is it that devs want this to happen? Because why would you want over on the CN version, let's say a character like Hawks gets announced in two weeks. You, a person who loves Hawks, if you are one of them, then you're going to skip every single banner until Hawks drops. Now, let's say the version is caught up, right? Let's say we get Shigaraki, they got Shigaraki. At that point, you don't know what the next banner is, right? Right now, we rely on leaks. That is why Zero exists. He literally leaks everything. Let's say, you know, they stop leaks. Let's say that happens. Then how do you know what comes next, right? It's the thing of you're going to wait till the last second. Let's say tomorrow Hawks drops and you really love Hawks. You're going to probably spend money for Hawks. Now, again, hear me out on this one, right? The global devs literally went and kind of like didn't give us a break week in between Stain and Shigaraki. That was a, uh, a pretty big thing, right? This is the first time they've done that since what? The, the entire launch of the game, right? We had All Might. We had a break, we then had Endeavor, we didn't have a break because it counted as, what, a rerun for Aizawa, we then had Stain, and then we had Shigaraki, so again, no break there, maybe we get a rerun next, which is what people are, ex uh, you know, expecting, because think about it now, Shigaraki, then it goes straight into an All Might rerun, it wouldn't make sense, I'm just saying that now, probably speaking, that's our next banner for Global, keep that in mind, probably gonna happen, but then again, if you look at the other version, right, they haven't had a banner in so long, they haven't had in a little bit, they had Mina as the Battle Pass character, I bet you now, if this makes sense, right, if this works, Next week is going to be our week for Mina. I've been saying that for a while now. I'm like, dude, if you're not going to drop content, you just drop Mina. Like, that's enough for us to go and grind. I uh, will play the battle pass. We'll get it for free. We'll do whatever. That's the way to do it. They never dropped that. So, uh, GG's on that one. Like, we're still waiting on Mina at some point. I'm hoping. Probably speaking, if this is what they're planning, Mina will probably be your next week's entire content update, right? That will be where she lands on because it'll then match up where, where like, you know, CN is, right? We're going to then have a battle pass there. They're going to start their new battle pass. Again, that's the 28th, right? That is when Mina ends over on that version. So it would make a lot of sense that we're just one month or one battle pass behind them. With a lot of gacha games, you're either caught up or you're not caught up or you're just a little bit behind, right? With Grand Cross, you're four weeks behind. With this, I wouldn't be shocked if they go like the two-week approach or just one banner behind, right? It goes down to the battle pass, you're one month behind. It goes down to banners, you're two banners behind because they do, I think, banners every two weeks now here on Global. Maybe they do it three months over there or three weeks over there. But think about it now, we're probably just going to be one behind where they are. And that is the future of Global. So if you were like using the CN version as any type of metric of where we're going to get a unit, yeah, that's not happening. And again, it will also tie into the thing of them not having to go and, you know, announce 
the difference of a character, right? Let's say Shigaraki, or let's say Dobby drops over there at the same time it drops over here, and it's just, it's different the day one, right? You can't go and compare it to the other version because our day one dropped differently than their day one, right? But again, it could be that the CN version is now going to pick up because of this. They're going to start dropping banners every two weeks just like us because remember, if they start doing three-week banners and we do two-week banners, uh, or they do one month banners we do two week banners it's gonna end up that we pass them and then we go way ahead of them right i still personally feel like that version is like the stage testing area that is where they put the characters out they test how it does in the environment if it flops miserably and it's like a horrible design character that broke the meta and everyone's on fire the entire server's burning down they won't drop that on global and they'll change it up so with that being said i still feel like yes the other version has a you know an entire purpose and i really don't think the global devs will just like push ahead and scrap that version practically speaking right like the other devs kind of copy off of the global devs and then like we give the content to them i still don't see that being the thing it just probably will be that yes jp or cn or however you want to say it they're going to be staying ahead of us they're going to be giving us the content or they're going to do day one with us right we drop the same day they drop something and boom that's going to be how our content updates you know kind of operate now if you're sitting there like yo they're never gonna just sit there with no content just because global has to catch up think about it now grand cross did something similar i know i keep comparing it to that it's just because of the most like relevant uh what is it example i have because recently they did a one week like dead week over on the JP version. This was like a month or two ago because if they did that, the global version would be four weeks exactly behind uh, instead of five weeks, right? So now it's exactly two banners behind what that version is and it perfectly checks out. So again, I wanted to demo in the comments. Are you hyped about this or are you depressed about this, right? It does look like the CN version had this plan. This was their entire idea the entire time. They were going to let global catch up. Once global caught up, boom, they're going to start releasing content. So it does look like that's what they were planning. That's the entire thing. Maybe now that, you know, the devs are out there, they're going to get like more uh, things, more game modes, more other things over on that server. If that does end up happening, that's very, very good for us because, you know, maybe we get more content, more game modes, more different things. Honestly, since four months now, almost, there has not been a single like massive content update over that version. So we don't know, right? We're going to wait and see. Yes, the global devs have confirmed there's going to be more pro heroes arriving. So obviously, we're not going to end. Like, people are thinking, like, the game's done since uh, Shigaraki dropped. No, that's, that's obviously not happening. Just remember, via the leaks, there's still characters like Present Mike, there's Toga, there's Dobby. They still exist, and they are supposed to drop at some point. So right now, there are characters that are planned. But again, that's the global files, right? I don't know if that's in the CN files, in the other version files. Maybe, you know, they don't have a plan for these characters, and only global does, and then they will take the characters from global and then over there who knows how it's going to work who knows what's going to become the new version who's going to know like what the catch-up is but it does look like this was planned day one that the devs wanted to do this at least maybe pass them or just catch up to them right there it would make sense now that they dropped the shigaraki banner back to back because that will now officially mark the fact that yeah there's no banner left maybe two weeks from now once shigaraki ends Dobby is dropped over on the other version, and boom, it's official that we get the same banner on the same day that they get the banner, and boom. But yeah, for all those people that think the game is dead and the game is over, there's no more content, there will be probably content, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, they I'm kidding. We're gonna be fine. Thank you again for watching. Peace out, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.